Hello and welcome to Half Air Plays. I am Terrence and we are continuing our series today on Fran Bo. Now this is the series that you pretty much have to watch by going to my YouTube channel, not my website uh, because it's a little bit more graphic than uh, what I want to just uh, post out there on website. But I started the playthrough. I will continue it to the end. Uh, last time we were in Fran Bo, we were a tree. And we got turned back into a girl, I believe. And we were told of a wizard that might be able to help send us home. So we are going to look for the wizard. Um, and Oh, I'm still kind of a tree person. And I do promise that if an episode, if not this one, another one, will definitely be called something like we're off to see the wizard. I mean, it's just there. It's just begging to be said. Uh, let's see. So what do I got here? Um, let's see. This is the book. Okay, so we have a book here. And according to my son, there's a bit of reading we have to do. So, hopefully this doesn't get too boring. I found myself hunting the truth, but finding the unexpected. I found what my senses couldn't show me. I found the truth that relays silently in the unknown. Leon Castillo, one of the thousand. Don't know what that means. Uh, July... Okay, this is, I guess, his diary. My name is Leon. I am currently 92-year-old, living alone in a little house far away from the city. I have to admit, I never was fond of jewelry, houses, or clothing. Uh, since childhood, I always talked to animals, plants, and insects, and even though I never got a response, I never quit. If you are reading, there's a note uh, stapled in here. If you are reading this, maybe it's because you are looking for answers. Maybe you can see things that others can't, or you can feel what others avoid. You can listen to the silence and become one with everything. Well, that is certainly true in this game. And there's a picture, I guess this is Leon, with a bullet hole in his head. Or maybe just his eye got gouged out. Who knows? December 17th, 1875. Wait a second. That was July 11th, 1908. So we're going back in time? I can't stop it. I can't control it. I see the black shadows everywhere. The blood, the messages, the screaming, all the pain! I can't figure out why this is happening to me. Can you see? The black shadows. I can see them too! What happens if I click on this guy? Mr. Leon is old and he seems sad. Hmm. Is there any? Hmm. December 19th, 1875. Cry because it hurts. I had a vision. I'm still breathing fear. I feel at war with my own mind. One of the shadows came down from the sky. I thought it was an angel. Its name is Remor, Prince of Darkness, from the fifth reality. It talked to me, played with me, and showed me all the terrors. It told me that I was the king to it, the key to its existence. Inside my head, the story of wisdom inside my head. Cry because it hurts. Some creep. Yes, it certainly is. Uh, 1876. Well, now we're going into the correct chronology. I can see myself around. The others, the other me, tell me lies. Talks about all the pain and suffering in my life. The other me wants me to commit suicide. Mm. He smiles while pronouncing the words, Kill yourself. And I have tried, hypnotized by his words, but there is always something saving me at the end. It must be the love to live. Or God. Um, poor Mr. Leon. I like the drawings, though. Wow. Okay, Fran, you're a little whacked in the head, too. Although, yes, I am one for creepy drawings. Ah, uh, January 15th, 1876. I met a shadow. For the first time, it talked to me. Kamalas. Yeah, we can see them. And they realize they exist and get rid of them. Ah, okay. Their race is called Kamalas. They hunt weakness and pain. I asked it about the possession of human bodies, and it said... We are born and feed from fear and the uncontrolled illness of human mind. We are invisible to them, but our existence grabs every single living cell and body until the end. After that, it started raining and it walked away from me, leaving a black oily path after it. I believe water may purify them. Okay, so we got demons, dark demons, and water may purify them. Holy water? Is there more religious overtones to this? Um, possibly. 
January 16th. After seeing the Kamalas reacting to water, I thought of trying a little experiment. Last night, I encountered something amazing. The Kamalas transform into a new kind of creature when exposed to the water. Hmm. They melt like wicked witches in fairy tales. Yeah. Okay. The metamorphosis was painful to watch. After the terrible screaming, the Kamalas calmed down and started to cry on the ground. It felt like the pain was disappearing. After a few minutes, a bright and peaceful being was rising in front of me. Okay, baptism. So we have a baptism scenery here now. Uh, the, the water of baptism washing away the sin. Something along those lines. It felt like the bright creature could read my thoughts. I thank you for waking me up. I was suffering. I must go where I belong. If Thirsta awaits, all Valakaz must go there after waking up. If you wish to see the light, come with me. You have the key, it said. It didn't matter. After a while, it fade away. Okay, so the Kamalas, after they get baptized, become Valokaz. Hmm, read thoughts. I think that's a bit scary. I guess we're always afraid of things we can't understand, especially if they seem nice. Ooh, the cosmos. Uh, f 1876, February. I was reading my writings to see if I'm missing something. I recall Remor from the fifth reality. If there is a fifth reality, there must at least be four more. I was thinking that Ithersta may not be a city in this world, but a reality by itself. I wish all answers came to me. I deeply regret the fact that I didn't accept Valakas's invitation. Was that an invitation to go with them? Yeah, come with them. Okay, you got the key. Uh, since I saw the Valakas, I keep seeing this diagram spinning in my head in a single sentence. Time is the rhythm of your perception. I don't understand the drawing. Well, it looks like a solar system. Sun, planets. I don't know what those are. Asteroids. It looks interesting, though. Maybe it's just how time looks like. Ah, the lone gunman on the horizon. March of 1876. I got a visit from my son, Brian. I told him about the things I've seen, but he didn't He didn't want to hear and left. Okay. I don't blame him. I understand that the reality presented before my eyes is invisible to most of people. I wish I could find a friend just like me. Because my son, in red, he thinks I'm insane. Lonely with no family, huh? You should get a cat, Mr. Leon! <laughs> bah, you're not, I can tell you. You should get a cat, Mr. Leon, okay. July 25th, 1876. My body and mind are beginning to understand the pattern. Life becomes quite easy to control when you... Hold on, sorry, okay. When you cut all social laws and only apply our reality laws, because... They are not only laws, but also behaviors. Chemical behaviors, natural laws. Without those behaviors, without those laws, we wouldn't exist. Sometimes I wish could, I could be a leaf on the ground, calm while dying. I think I have to study some chemistry. To, no, no, no. It can be fun to understand how we are builded and such. Oh, 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 Fran Bo, you don't need to take chemistry. You need to take grammar lessons. I think I have to study some chemistry. No, 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 no. It can be fun to... Oh, okay. Ooh. November 11th, 1876. Last night, after the storm, a huge creature visited my garden for a few seconds and then disappeared. Oh, we know this creature. I found a strange bottle with a pink liquid inside in the same spot the creature landed. Pink. I can't fully understand the contents of the bottle. I have found red blood cells in it and bacteria not, re not yet recognized. Ah, what creature can that be? Oh, mysterious pink water. Hee hee, good for the plant that got better and bloomed. What? The bacteria seems to get rid of unusual behaviors in any kind of living creatures. I poured some of the pink liquid on a dying plant and it bloomed after a few minutes. I cut my finger to test the liquid with human tissue and it cured it after a few seconds. This bacteria may work as platelets and white blood cells but at a very high speed oh mysterious pink water okay so uh i forget was that the water that turned me from a log into a log person 
December 22nd, 1876. I dream of thousands of black cats surrounding my home. Mr. Midnight! Big yellow eyes staring at my sleep. Beings in Ithirsta are varied. From roots to giant insects, roots are the first in this reality. Insects came later. I learned their language and numerology. Okay, so he got to where I am now. There's Mr. Midnight. Maybe he had a Mr. Wow, I love these pictures. Many kittens and many colors. They're all black. Okay. It looks like somebody ripped off some pages here. Oh, it does. Okay, so. Something between here and here is where he got to, to Thirst, and they took it away. I don't know why. And we have the alphabet. The Great Valakos is the beginning of the first reality. Prime Eve and Light. The Valakos body structure is quite different from ours. They are made out of photons and sound waves. They are also both male and female. When the younger reach the age 2,299,792,459, they are crowned with the shield. Okay. This is all Andrew's story, isn't it? Are those letters? They sound funny. A, fa, si, thi, e, e, fe. Okay. That's the language. Okay. I guess they call it a shield. Well, that is old. Zyar. Creation of the great Valakas, king of Ithirsta, second reality, life. And then 1877. Being a thirst that feels like becoming what you can't understand on Earth. It's where leaves sing while falling off the tree and the water whispers its wisdom while you drink it. Ah, beautiful creatures. I love them. Yes. I like the trees and crystals and the grass. Yes, because we're not seeing blood stuff. Although there's a bug. We were seeing blood stuff when we had bugs around. Okay. Pandora. Creation of the five realms of eternal existence. Free. Besides, in human, in the human world, third reality, Earth, Mars, and Jupiter, conscious practice of will. Hmm, but we got the circles, we got the planets, this is like that other picture. <sighs> Resides in the human world, third reality, Earth, Mars, and Jupiter, consciousness, practice of will. Center Sadi, the end of vibration, when both ends of opposites are the same degree, resides in the third and fourth reality, death. This sounds like listening to Andrew, my son, talk about his... He has a story going in his head that he's had since he was, like, really young. Um, like, eight or nine? Uh, and he keeps it all straight. It's amazing. He, he's really amazing in that. But this sounds very similar. Mabuka is the end of light. And there's that creature. Many heads. That creature must spend a lot of time thinking. Blood everywhere. The end of light. Okay. That's the creature that we've been seeing, I think. March 25th, 1877. Mother Makuba is letting me go. I've spent 15 years here in Makuba's den and I'm tired. Wait a second. 15 years. 67. I don't need to hide from pain anymore because it's part of me. It feels like love. It's everywhere and in everything. I enjoy crying. I enjoy laughing. I enjoy being alive. Okay. So 15 years before 1875 was 1862 but we started reading in 1875 so this whole time when he's going when this leon is going to etharka and everything like that he was really in makuba's den oh okay <clears throat> reading i need to take reading lessons 15 days not years oh golly okay Okay. This is who you're watching, not the brightest uh, ball in the shed. If dark things in the dark are so dark, how they find each other? Maybe they like it dark because they are so ugly. And they are so ugly they prefer not to each other. Well, maybe. Or they're sin! Okay. No date recorded. Okay. <laughs> if I was writing a journal, would I write no date recorded? That just doesn't make sense. I'm getting ready for the journey back home. Makuba sent me to the endless limits of Makuba's den, and I'm waiting for the Luciferns. I had to become friends with them, or to be more precise, become one of them. Luciferns gather in filaments 
Um, that's why they look like they are growing hair, and the big face is mostly for communication purposes and to scare their predators. I hope my body can survive the journey. Is that... Okay, so there are these little bugs. That must be Mr. Leon sitting there. Are those the shiny insects? Where is the hair comb? Okay. So the luciferns, the hair that we saw on the tree that turned into shiny... This is just weird, but I have a feeling I'm going to meet M Bakuba later on. Maybe Bakuba is the wizard? That's a scary thought. Ah! October 2nd, 1878. Gravity collects particles to create new ones. It's a creative force, and with creativity, evolution is inevitable. What is this? The drawing to the left looks like an antenna. It does. Oh no, somebody ripped off the rest of the book. I'll never know what happened to Mr. Leon. Well, maybe we'll see him. And then we got these things. Okay, so that's the book. So all we know is this Leon guy has been to this land. He sees things like I do. Something about time. We're probably going to meet Makuba. And Makuba is the answer to us getting home. And everything's going to feel like love. I don't know. Okay. So. Can I go up the steps? We're out here again. This is where we met the little flying monsters of men creature. From monsters to men. Whatever it's called. Let's go this way. Wait. Can I talk to my cat? Okay. Mr. Cat. You told me we have to find Mountain Cortrum and the Great Wizard. Well, no duh. That's it? That's all you're going to tell me? Throw in the can. I wonder if it's comfortable. Well, sit on it. <laughs> Let's go this way. Ah! Our friend the bug! No, no! You can't get in. It's closed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What's behind this passage? Sorry, I just wanted to see what's behind this passage. Well, the library, of course. But it's closed. Come back in fall or winter, then it will be open. Hey, aren't you the talking tree I took to see Palantras? That's me. Yes, that's me. Palantras gave me arms and legs. Yes, and also a head. That's very positive. Hee <laughs> hee, yes. But why is the library closed, sir? Well, that's logic. As the sun goes around the second moon of Ithirsta, we open. As the sun goes around the second... So the sun goes around the moons? Do they know astronomy? Only then the real knowledge will be learned. And that only happens in fall and winter. Oh. Well, I'm not going to say thank you, bye. I'm going to get as much information as I can. Oh. So you don't learn anything while you're in summer or spring? Of course we learn. We learn all the time. This is not from books. I'm learning now. That you like to ask many questions. Well, heck, I'm curious. Well, I'm curious, that's why. Everything looks so different here in Ithirsta. I guess you are not from around here. Well, no, duh. Well, I hope to see you soon. Yes, thank you, sir. Bye. Well, I'm not getting there, so... Let's go down a little bit further. More big pinwheels. And we're going to say, so many paper swirls, I like them. Yes, we know. Can I go out here? Wow, this is a bit scary, but it's beautiful. Okay. It almost feels like I could fly. It's like the Airy in Game of Thrones. Okay. Another bug! Let's see. And a staircase. So where do I want to go? Let's talk to our bug friend. Hello, sir. Are you a guard? Yes. Mountain Cotrim? Oh, I see. Do you know where the Mountain Cotrim is? Yes. Where is it? Can you tell me where it is? Yes. Can you say anything other than yes? Tell me, please. Well, tell me, please. Yes. Yeah, um. um, the Mountain Cotrim is only in winter time. Well, is it winter time now? We know it's not fall. We know it's not or spring or summer, fall or summer, whatever the other guy said. Oh, goodness. Wintertime. Wintertime? What are you talking about? Hmm. 
of course, winter time. What do you think? I can't wait for winter. I'm here now. But you don't have to wait for it. You go there. Go? How? Oh, sorry, but I'm not good at explaining things. Go down the stairs and straight. You'll find a clockmaker. He can explain things, I think. He tried with me before. Alright, thank you, sir. So we got a clock that we can just turn, and these guys are just flying around here in the boats. So why can't we get a boat? I want a boat! Down the stairs. Uh, what are these things? I wonder what kind of stones these are. Oh, so many fish. They seem to be in a hurry. Where are you all going? Are you going home? No, they're going to school. Ba -dum -bum -psh! I wish I could go home, too. Ah, uh, let's see. Maybe this tells us something about the fish. Not that I really care. Ugh. Oh. So. Uh, that's where I was. Now I'm here. There's a volcano. That's the mountain. That's the mountain. There's where... Is that the mountain? A mountain? A boat. Well, no, duh. That's the ground. I think that's the castle. Yes. That's Palantris' home. Got it. Okay, so... I wonder if it says Ethersa there. It must be. Ethersa. Line, line, that. Let's see what those say. Just out of curiosity. And if I can get to it really quick... Line going straight down. E. Line going across. Item... Axe. And Tem Axe... Tem hey, and if so, then is that an F? F A? No, it's a candelabra. What does a little two-armed candelabra look like? Nothing, because it's not in here. I don't see it. Or I'm missing something. No, don't see it. Okay. Well, that's fine, because it really doesn't matter. At least I don't think it matters. Now, signpost. Oh, look at that. Okay. Mountain that way. That's back home. And a cart of food. Let's go to the cart of food. Okay. So we got some people here to talk to. And, oh. Let's talk to the root first. Get to the root of the problem. It's good day for good fabric and thread. I'm at your service. He's Italian, apparently. Good thread and cloth to make stuff. There is a lot of fabric in the box. Okay, let's see this grumpy guy over here. Hello, I'm Fran. What are you doing? Good day. I'm Pruta, and I'm molding this piece of iron. Oh, for what? I have to deliver a few clock pieces to the clockmaker. Well, great. That's where I'm going. Oh, I see. You could do all kinds of metallic stuff. Sure. If you have some ideas, we can talk about them. And padam, I do it. Like tada, padam. That's very good to know. Thank you, sir. Well, I have to keep working. But if you need my services, you know where I am. And we talked to Mr. Bug over here. Whoa! Hello! I want to talk to that bug. Ah, who is there? You? Who? Oh. Me, Fran. Can't you see me? Oh, now I see a little. You have four eyes. Wow! I do? Four eyes? I don't have... Uh. Okay, what are you selling? Only the very best palabas of this entire land. Do you want to smell it? They look like coconuts. Sure, they look like coconuts. It's poo, miss! <laughs> poo that I collect! They are not coconuts! Ah, we're back to the poop! Ah. We need some Tetris. If you listen to the Toddcast, you would know what that means. Poo? Like in the toilet? Wow! I thought it was really bad to eat poo. Bad? 
Why, it's very yummy. I love it here. It makes every we love it here. It makes everything grow and shine. Well, you know what? I guess if you're a root vegetable and poop is a fertilizer, then yes, it is very good for you. And I'm a tree, so it's a whole new world. <laughs> I have to get going now. Good luck with the plabas. Bye. See, I gotta remember all these voices. Like, if I talk to this guy again, am I gonna remember how he talks? It's a good day for good fabric and thread. I am at your service. Or was he Italian? What did I say he was? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, so, there's nothing here for us. Nothing here. Can I talk to this wandering vegetable? No. Okay, let's go to this eyeball. Ooh, I hear clocks. There's the clockmaker. We're gonna talk to the clockmaker. Hello, what are you doing? Hmm, working on my clock. Oh, I see, sir. Do you know where I can find the great wizard? No, miss. I do clocks. I fix clocks. I listen to clocks. Tick tock. Hmm, and do you know where the mountain cotrium is? The mountain cotrium only exists in winter time. Otherwise, it's just a regular mountain. I can't wait for winter. I can't wait for winter. The king said the wizard would be in mountain cotrium. You don't need to wait for winter to come. That's absurd. Time is infinitely layered reality. Oh, well, give me a clock to change the freaking time. Oh, a layered reality. That sounds great. What should I do then? Go to the big clock and change the season. Just change it. What clock? Well, go towards the castle, but turn to your left when you see the stairs. You'll find a big clock on the tree. Good luck. Okay, thank you, sir. You are very nice. Bye. Are you very nice? And we got the newspaper here. Let's, let's look at the newspapers. Ah, yes. I cannot read this. How do you know that's only good news? This bean looks like he's kicking this bug. Or is this like a rock, paper, scissors thing? Bean beats bug beats tree. I don't know. Ugh. Okay. Hello, lady. Is there any news? Good day. Would you like to read the newspaper? I can't read. Is thirst... Uh, what is this thirst's language called? Don't you know? It's called his Thurnish. Are you a tourist? <laughs> yes, I am a tourist. My name is Fran. I've never seen a tourist before. And I've neither, never seen a Fran either. Welcome to Ithursta. I hope you will have fun here. Thank you so much. I have to go now. Bye. And we're going to talk to Mr. Caterpillar. Hello, miss. I think you have beautiful fruits. Now, if a guy said... No, I'm sorry. Wrong thing to say in this environment. Thank you, dear. Would you like some? Oh, no. I'm on a mission to go back home. I want to be hungry when I get there. Oh, from what part of Athirsta are you? Are you from outside the island? I'm a human. No, I'm not from Athirsta at all. I'm a human. Oh, a human? That's new. Well, I hope you complete your mission. Thank you, miss. I certainly will. See you. Now, can I grab any of this stuff? Baby roots, you're gonna get eaten. Oranges give me a headache. Fresh and juicy pineapples. Now, so do I go to the big clock? The ladybug has really huge melons. Okay. So, let's go this way. Okay, so let's see, looks like they're playing chess over here, or something like chess. Tiny figures, black and white. Oh, tiny figures, black and white. Okay. Hello. Good day, young one. What are you doing? The war is about to start, and I can see meaning in the meaningless. <laughs> what do you mean? Huh? What do you mean? 
Join me, young one. You'll be rewarded with one golden coin if you come back alive. Join you? Join you where? The game is about to begin. You are the Kamalas. I am the Valokas. Black and white as shadows and light. It's a board game. Is this a sort of board game, sir? Are you the dimmest girl in the world? Yes, a board game. Let's immerse in this adventure. You against me. I give you a coin if you win. Eh, what do you say? Yeah, sure. What are the rules? First, place three of the same figures in a diagonal, horizontal, or vertical line when it's tic-tac freaking toe. We toss the machinery and see who begins. Are you in? Sure, it sounds like a game we used to play at school called Tic-Tac-Toe. But why would you just give me the gold if I win? Time is gold and I'm very old. I've been around a long time. I just want to have a good time. I see. Well, let's play. Okay, I'm gonna win this thing. Black. Am I black? Okay. Well, how do I... Am I white? Oh. Oh, okay. I just pick a spot. Oh, smucker darns. Okay. Ah, oh, I just bit myself in the butt on that one. I shall not lose. Okay. White goes first. Okay. Ah! Have I forgotten how to play tic-tac-toe? Stop it. Okay. Ah, <sighs> oh, goodness gracious. Okay. Come on, let me go first. Oh, come on! Stop making white go first. Ah! I'm gonna win. I am going to win. And if I can go first... Got him. Okay, I got it finally. Oh, darn it! <laughs> I was so sure of that one. Oh, ho, ho, I wasn't thinking. Oh, I even suck at tic tac toe. Okay. the dang thing again <sighs> oh gee <Cute. sighs> 
There we go. There we go. Golly, that was harder than it should have been. I'm done. I got my coin. Well done. Well done, little creature. You are a master. Not really. Really? If that was a masterful play. Ugh. I lost twice. I just got lucky. Yeah, let's get out of here. Boat builder. Good day, sir. Good day, little creature. I have seen flying boats, sir. How does that work? Think about them floating on water. But instead of water, it's air. It's so simple. Okay. Got the hiccups now. <sighs> mm. Could I borrow one? And could I borrow one of your boats to fly away? I want to go home. Oh, go home? I see. Sadly, these boats only work with Etherstanis. Huh, I see. Well, thank you, sir. Have fun making your boat. Okay. Hello, is anybody in there? I guess not. Maybe Key and I can hide there if the monster comes back. Okay. Ah, now what is this guy doing? Hello, little root. You are so cute. Oh, thank you. You are cute, too. Hee <laughs> hee, I'm Fran. And you? Me? No, I'm not Fran. I'm Zelma, and I want to sing all day long. Hee <laughs> hee, what is your favorite song? My favorite song goes like this. One and one or two, one and two or three, two and three or five, and three and five or eight. And I don't remember any more than that. How about not, uh, five and four is nine? I learned that at school. It's fun. Yep. That sounds very mathematical. I have to go now. You have beautiful fruits, by the way. See you. Okay. Delicious fruits and veggies. Okay, so let's go back this way. We know where we need to go. Now, who is... I do want to talk to someone. This guy. What did he... What was his word that he used? Hello, I'm Fran. What are you doing? I'm Pruda, and I'm molding this piece of iron. Oh no, for what? Little few clock pieces of the clockmaker. For what? You make all kinds of stuff. Maybe we can talk about them and padam! That's what it was. Padam! I might be able to use that word later. Who knows? Okay. So, back to the stairs and go this way. So I could have went that way first. There's the clock! This is a very odd clock. Where are the numbers? There is no number that has symbols and colors, but it doesn't seem to show the time. Well, I guess the time works differently here in a thirst thirsta. Uh, this is a very odd clock. Okay, so how... It sounds like something broke. Ugh. Really? I gotta fix the clock now? Why won't it let me look at the clock? Nothing, of course. What was I thinking? Ah, oh, okay. So we gotta fix the clock. Well, what's over here? Just for grins. There's a person on a boat. I would like to borrow that boat. Well, yes. But it's not yours to have. Let's go back to the clock maker. Maybe... He will sell us a part to fix the clock. Sir, I have a little problem. Mm, yes, I don't have any. The clock, the big clock on the tree, it's broken. I can't make it work. Please help me. A broken clock? That's a disgrace. Poor clock. You have to help me. Please fix it for me. I beg you. I have to go home. I never click... I never fix a clock for nothing. Otherwise, my life's time goes to waste. What do you mean? I charge one big golden coin per clock. Time is gold, you know. Here, sir, your golden coin. Oh, yes, but you have to offer me the job first. All right, do it and be polite. I asked you to be the clock repairman in return for this coin. What? That had no passion. I almost fell asleep. As workers, we need motivation. 
I'm sorry, sir. I'm tired. I've been through really bad times. Would you like to talk about it? Oh, you're not a psychiatrist. Thank you for asking, but I prefer to let it go this time. Oh, I don't want to see that sad face. Let's go and fix the clock. What do you say? Am I going to get it done for free? Yes, sir. Thank you. Let's go. Okay. And he's walking. And he's walking. And I'm following. And he's fixing the clock. Hmm, you were right. The clock is... Oh, hmm, you were right. The clock is broken. You can fix it, right? Of course. Just a second. Oh, gee. And it's... Oh. Hmm, yes. Oh, there. What is it? It seems that somebody was playing a dirty game around this clock. What do you mean? I mean somebody broke it. It's immoral. Breaking a defenseless clock. Arg. Why would somebody break it? Kamala's. Winter. Mountain courtroom. The stones. Many reasons, miss. Oh, what are you talking about? I don't understand. Kamala's the evil darkness. They work for Amor, the terrible black. And Kamala's are the only ones allowed into this land. The only evil we have around. It wouldn't surprise me. Amor wants the stones. But what I don't understand is... For what purpose? Those stones are meaningless for him and his kingdom. And the stones are in winter time. Is Ramor a giant black monster with a goat mask? A dead goat mask? Yes, you know him? Yes, I think it's because of him I'm in this land. I'm a human, you know. Oh, a human. Now I understand. I also need the stones. They're on my way back home. I hope it's not too late. Aha! That is why you need to go into winter time and go to Mountain Cotrum. Yes, exactly. I have to talk with the Great Wizard and borrow the stones. Hmm. Well, it's fixed now. I'll give you something that will make it easy for you. Here. It's a... It's a remote control for the clock. You will be able to travel into all four seasons in just a quick turn. Ah. And will I meet Frankie Valley? Once again, really old reference. But it's just a prototype, so it may not work if you are too far away. And remember, time is an infinite layered reality, so be careful. I'll be careful. Thank you very much. You're a very nice clockmaker guy. Please, call me Cogwind! All right, Mr. Cogwind. I'm Fran, by the way. See you soon. Bye. Okay, so now we got a clock. Where the pill used to be. Let's see, can I get this thing? This is a very odd clock. What are the numbers? Nothing. It has symbols and colors, yes. Okay, so... Does this do anything? What will it be? Summer? Winter? I don't know what... Whoa! Whoa, okay, this is fall. Easily this is fall. It has symbols and... Okay. So, this is... That's winter. Winter is coming. Winter is here. Wait, this is spring. This is summer. Okay. So we want to go to winter. Winter! And we want to go this way. I think. Okay. Well, now that we're into winter... Uh, and I think we're going to the mountain, Mount Kotaku or whatever. <laughs> Mount Kotaku, that's not right. Mount Kamala, whatever. Golly. Um, this seems like a good stopping point right here for this episode of Franbo. So uh, this is Terrence. Please visit my website, www.half-air.com, and tell your friends and have them visit uh, and comment and read. Uh, and you can catch the rest of Franbo. Uh, on my uh, 
my YouTube channel for Half Air, and I do have the address for the uh, series, the playlist down below in the uh, description. You can catch all my other gameplays every Wednesday. I try to post a new gameplay video. Uh, so I actually play games very badly. And if you can't remember all that, you can get Twitter notifications by subscribing to my Twitter feed. It's at completely full. So for Half Air Plays, this is Terrence saying thanks for watching and good night.